Hi, I'm Jeff Jackmine uh, from the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research, and I'm an investigator here uh, and enjoy doing vaccine and other studies. So chikungunya is a uh, virus that's spread by mosquitoes, and uh, since about 2013, it's a virus that's making its way into the Americas. And so uh, the FDA in 2018 decided to make it a priority to develop a vaccine for this uh, virus. Um, the virus is uh, uh, not too dissimilar from the Zika virus and the dengue uh, virus, which is also spread by mosquitoes. And, uh, uh, specifically started in St. Martin, uh, the most recent spread, and it came up into Florida, uh, into the Texas, and right now when you look at the tracking of it, it looks like it's still kind of tracking into South Florida, moving into Upper Florida, into Texas, and California here in the last couple of years. So it is possible to spread from someone's blood uh, to somebody else, but typically one person's not going to give it to another person. Uh, typically be spread from uh, mosquitoes that carrying the virus and biting somebody. So the virus was first recognized in about the 1950s in Africa and they, they call it uh, chikungunya because the African word to become contorted. Um, so uh, within the first three or so days of the virus infection, uh, people get usually a high fever and some people get very severe joint pains, enough where they have difficulty walking. Um, the symptoms can then in most patients, they'll settle down after a week or two, uh, but in some patients, those joint pains can come and go over many years. And then in uh, some folks that either are elderly or immune compromised, those symptoms could go on for, for you know, the rest of their life. No real treatment. So kind of like with tetanus shots, people get tetanus routinely. This looks like it would be hopefully something in the future that you would just get as a routine. Hey, you know, this is a mosquito borne illness. And although there are prevention measures, you know, using different types of bug spray and prevention measures. Uh, once you get it, there's really no, no treatment other than to, to kind of quote, gut it out. Um, and so I think, you know, anybody that goes outside, enjoys the outdoors, uh, even, even in the you know, suburbs would be, uh, you know, at least theoretically at risk. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's something if you're healthy and it's something you would like to, you know, advance science, but also protect yourself. I think it's a great idea. Um, who, who doesn't want to be out enjoying the outdoors and not have to worry? Um, so I think it's something that uh, it's, uh, you know, people learn about themselves more. They get to, to come in and get uh, you know, laboratories and, and, and care uh, about their health, uh, but also just the idea that they're uh, giving to others, that they're able to receive something that, that might advance uh, to, to help their family and, and maybe somebody that they know that maybe have, has a little bit more of a uh, difficult uh, time fighting infection.